How to enable the Jenkins Dart theme. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.440.1. Now in this version of Jenkins LTS, there was a new panel added to Manage Jenkins. So let's go take a look at it. It's Manage Jenkins, Appearance, and here you have the option to select what themes you want to use on your Jenkins controller. Now I'm currently logged in as admin. That's the reason why I was able to see Manage Jenkins. So if I make changes here, this is going to apply to all users of this controller. So right now you can see default is selected. I could select dark with system, so that would follow however I have my system set up. Or finally, I could go ahead and just force dark. So that means it would be dark for everyone, everywhere, all the time. Let's go ahead and click on save. Notice we have a dark theme completely throughout our Jenkins controller. Let's go ahead and log out. And let's log in as a user named Bob. Now, Bob is not an administrator of this Jenkins controller. So when Bob logged in, he saw that everything's a dark theme. But currently, the way that the administrator set it up, Bob can change the theme if he wants to. So the way he would do that is Bob would click up here, click on Configure, and at the bottom of his configuration page, he will see that same theme block. Let's say Bob really prefers the default theme. So he could select on Default and click on Save. So at this point, Bob is seeing everything in the default or the light theme. Let's go ahead and click on Log Out. Now notice what happens when Bob logs out. We now see the login page is actually back to dark theme because Bob is not logged in yet, so therefore he's anonymous. So therefore, whatever the administrator had set up wins. So therefore, it's fully dark theme. So let's go ahead and log back in as admin and let's make one more change. So if I click on Sign In, go over to Manage Jenkins Appearance, notice that there is a checkbox here. And it says, do not allow users to select a different theme. Let's go ahead and select that. Now notice I've set up a dark theme and I'm not allowing users to make any changes to the theme. So if I've decided that the dark theme is gonna be used by everyone all the time, and by checking this box, that means nobody can change what the theme looks like for themselves. Let's go ahead and click on Save. And let's click on Log Out. Now I have another user named Alice. So if I log in as Alice, notice Alice is just a regular user that does not have access to Manage Jenkins. Alice can still go ahead and go up to Configure, and scroll down to that same section, but what you'll notice here is there is no theme section within Alice's configuration. So at this point, if Alice doesn't like the dark theme, then what she could do is go back to the Jenkins administrator and negotiate with them to go ahead and move from just dark always to maybe dark system. That way people can set up on their system which way they would prefer to go, whether they want dark or light. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.